Here is a picture of an appendix. There's a little bit of fat or meso appendix. You could see the external serosa here. You can see another little piece of mesenteric fat. You can also see that some of the serosal blood vessels are a little prominent. So if you would like to call this hyperemia or congestion, that's okay. Notice that in this area, it might be a little bit more so than over here. Uh, but notice also that the appendix maintains a fairly uniform, shiny uh, appearance. And the serosa, for the most part, is nice and uh, shiny too. So why are we showing this case? Well, let's take a section through it anyway. You're probably still wondering, why are we showing this case? Sure, we can see maybe a few little dilated serosal uh, blood vessels, but the muscle is uniform. You could see the normal amount of lymphoid tissue in the uh, mucosa and submucosa. And uh, nobody is too excited about this appendix. This is uh, about as close to normal as an appendix as you could get. So why would they take out normal uh, organs like it's never happened before? Well, one thing that we frequently don't look at when we look at an appendix, I must admit, is the inside of the lumen because that's just caca and nobody wants to spend their time looking at caca. But let's look at this anyway. And it's not just uh, amorphous uh, fecal debris. It appears to have some type of structure to it. Notice uh, it has a pretty smooth kind of a wall. Notice there's some type of uh, circular structure in here. And it's not, it doesn't really look like anything human. This is a worm. This is a round worm. This is a pin worm. It's called Enterobius vermicularis. And the reason why it get its last name is because it hangs around in the vermiform appendix, which otherwise is quite normal. It's not evoking much of an inflammatory response. You can still see that the lamina propria here is nice and heterogeneous with cells. There's no increase in neutrophils. And the epithelium is nice as well. Although you could see a, a average uh, routine mitosis here or there, maybe even three of them. That's about normal for turnover rate. Um, so uh, what else do we want to say? Well, what we want to say is that pinworms uh, like to hang out in the uh, appendix. Sometimes they're seen as incidental findings. Sometimes the appendix is taken out either correctly or incorrectly. Uh, but they don't usually cause much of a inflammatory response. They just hang out there. And while with all of the abnormal appendices that we've seen in the last uh, couple of weeks, it's nice to see a normal one. There's a nice mucosa. There are the mucosal glands. There are the lymphoid follicle germinal centers. Here are the more uh, denser uh, lymphocytes around them, so-called uh, perhaps mantle zone. Uh, marginal zone and mantle zone. And here's the rest of the loose, nice, totally normal submucosa. Here's a nice layer of uh, absolutely uh, beautiful smooth muscle. And if you drove through the entire circumference of this smooth muscle, both the circular as well as longitudinal layer out here, I doubted if you'd find more than one or two neutrophils infiltrating it. And if they did, they were probably still inside of blood vessels. And then you have your serosa lined by a true mesothelium, like you usually see in the appendix, and some uh, blood vessels out here, some of which contain um, uh, blood, uh, maybe making the appearance that this appendix may be congested. And it may be, but I can tell you uh, it also may be congested just from the surgical manipulation because this is a very, very early, early acute kind of a stage. Uh, Enterobius vermicularis inside of the vermiform appendix. And I will thank you very much.